Today I am going to unbox the ASRock Z790 PG Lightning motherboard. First let's have a look what features it offers. 14 plus 1 plus 1 power delivery design and 4 M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. That is pretty good. So let's open it up and have a look at it. Most goodies appear to be packed in a separate bag. So, let's see what's in it. Well, this is pretty standard. Two SATA cables. And all the NVMe M.2 screws that you need. Standoffs, screws, everything like that. And, of course, the manual. ASRock manuals are very well illustrated. That's good. Oh, and check it out. There's some extra padding here for, you know, to guarantee a safe journey for this motherboard. Hold on. Oh, it opens up like that. Okay, so there's nothing else in the box. Let me just quickly get rid of it and we'll open up that motherboard. And here it is, unpacked. There's a lot more padding, you know, to make sure that it doesn't get damaged in transit, which is always nice to see. But have a look at this design. It's uh, all black and that is metal all the way. None of that plastic crap. We just have one thing to peel here in terms of protective plastic and that is the film on the I.O. shield. And uh, while we're here let's have a look at this I.O. shield. It comes pre-installed which I like. Very nice. Don't have to mess around with that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB type A ports, one USB type C port, HDMI, uh, some, you know, old school keyboard and mouse connectors, 2.5 gigabit LAN, and microphone and audio connections. And also uh, there is space for the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, this motherboard uh, does not have a built-in Wi-Fi, but you can purchase it separately and just use one of the one of these. It's called M.2 Wi-Fi. Just pop that in there and route the cables, route the antenna through there. And there you go. You can add it for about $25, $30, I believe. A lot, a lot of heatsink. That is a lot of heatsink. Although, from this side, it doesn't look too impressive, but it's still okay. Because check it out. It actually extends all the way here. So that's still a lot of metal to dissipate heat. And the top one is pretty thick. Check it. Not bad, not bad. And in terms of power delivery, this motherboard comes with two 8 pins for the CPU. Alright, okay. Okay, let's have a look at the ports. So, as was mentioned previously, uh, there are four, a total of four M.2 ports. One has a heatsink, although it's not a very thick one but you know it will do the job especially for the gen 4 ssds they don't get that hot very nice and we get another three m.2 ssd slots one here one here and one here in terms of sata let's have a look how many just four sata 
it is a pretty cheap board so 4 is fine. And of course for the main PCIe Express slot we get PCIe Gen 5 reinforced with steel. There are 4 DDR5 slots. This motherboard supports up to DDR5 6800 plus OC. And uh, you know those latches open up from both sides for extra comfortable installation. And you know I like having a lot of fan connectors and this thing has one, two, three, four and there's one more, five, six, seven. Seven fan connectors. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. And in terms of LEDs, we get one addressable LED connector, two, three. So that's three addressable LED. And also one, hold on, where is it? I've seen it just now. There's one just regular LED connector. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, right here in the corner. And of course, as any other modern motherboard, it comes with a front panel connector for USB 3.2 Gen 2. That's nice. And another USB 3. And one more USB 3 connector. Let's have a look at the back of the board. Yeah, this is pretty basic. Nothing fancy here. A glossy back, no backplate. I can't say that I'm a big fan of this, uh, these lines. Uh, just a basic pattern. But I do like how the heatsinks look. It's just matte black with a bit of gloss. Very nice. Overall, it's fine. It's not the prettiest, but the price is right and the build quality does not disappoint. Right. That will be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And of course, subscribe for more content like this. I have more coming. Yeah, it was I, Vadim. Until next time.